Okay, everybody. I um, let the class really have it today because there were so many questions on the test that were identical to the questions from the brain pop videos that I had posted. So I really kind of let them have it if they got some of those questions wrong. Uh, I promised to put a correction video up. The, the homework is to redo the test, the whole thing, and make sure you get them all right. And again, with the answers here, there shouldn't be any reason not to. And I also, I think, to challenge myself, I'm going to try to do it in six minutes or less. Um, there were very few people that didn't have enough time with this test, but I think the only reason you would have run out of time on this one is you just didn't know how to do it. All right, question one. 15 goes into 45 three times. So one time bigger would be 100%. Hang on. All right, sorry about that. 100% would be 15. So 300% is 45. The answer is D, 300%. Second question, also from Brain Pop. $60 sweater, 10% discount. Divide by 10, there's your discount. $6 off, not $6 cost. The price is $54, D. Question three, one out of four, what is it as a percent? Well, again, I think of you know the drawing I kept making. One out of four is 25 percent. This question will come back again in a minute. Uh, I asked you to draw a picture. It could be as simple as that. Okay, unit rate, one day divide by four would be 30 pages. So which one of these fits? 60 pages in two days. You didn't have to use the ratio table, but you could if you wanted to. Some people said, 120 pages in four days, and then they work their way down to it. It's fine, whatever, you know, whatever worked for you. 75% is a decimal straight out of the brain pop. Move it two places to the left, 0.75A. Nine times three is 27. 36 times three is, uh, can't do it in my head. Six times three is 18, nine, 108. Or nine times four is 36, 27 times four is 108. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other side. Eight out of 10. Well, here's eight out of 10. But eight out of 10 is not 8% because eight out of 10 is 80 out of 100. So wait a minute, that's not it. That's no good. That's no good. Oh, four fifths. Oh, yeah. Eight tenths simplifies to four fifths, which is 80%. The answer is D. You could see if you picked A, but you, they even gave you the little warning here. All right. 5% of 240. Most people said, okay, if 240 is 100%, then 10% would be 24. Divide by 10. And half of that would be 5%. Half of 24 is 12. The answer is 12. Other people said, OK, I'll just do 240 times 5. Easy enough. Uh, 0.05, actually. Uh, 0, 20, 10, 11, 12 with two decimal places. All right. Ordered pair x before y, just like the alphabet. This is x. This is why these aren't negatives. This is the first quadrant. It's all positives. X comes first. It's 4 on X. Y comes second. It's 3 on Y. 4, 3, D. Boys to girls in the math club, I wrote it for most of you like this. Percents aren't out of 5. They're out of 100. 5 goes into 120 times. 2 times 20 is 40%. All right, so ends the multiple choice. Now, open-ended questions. 35% of 20, 0.35 times 20. Bring down the zero. Five times two is 10. Three times two is six plus one is seven. Seven kids. The piano question. 
One, two, three, four, five black keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven white keys. What percent of the total is black? So black over total, five over 12. Percents aren't out of 12, they're out of 100. How do you turn a fraction into a decimal into a percent? The one on top jumps inside, then you just divide. I'll skip the division, but I'll, I showed you in class. That rounds off to 42%. Percent, of course, means out of 100. Hang on. If percent is already out of 100, then it means 42. There's 42 black keys out of 100 instead of 5 out of 12. No math required. All right. Last page, 25% of 40. <laughs> Busy place around here. I'm just going to keep going. 0.25 times 40. Oh, actually, this is what they want you to do here. Sorry. 0.25 times 40. And I encourage you to do part B before part A is 0, 20 times 4 is 10. The answer is 10. But most of you, all you had to draw was something like this and just show me that 25% was one quarter and the whole thing was 40. Some of you did it this way, cut it in half, cut it in half again. So 10, 10, 10, 10, the whole thing equals 40, 25%. Half of half. So some of you did 40, 20, 10, right, 100%. 50% and 25%. That's fine. Either way is fine. All right, party favors. Where's my little... Oh, here it is. Up seven minutes. Darn it. All right, party favors. Dana has made two. That equals 10%. What's 100%? How many times does 10 go into 100? 10 times, 2 times 10 is 20. She needs to make 20 favors. Last, last question, here we go. And this was a hard one. Again, though, it came straight from uh, the brain pop. The short version of this is if you divide 55 by 78, you get the answer. But how do you get to that point? Well. 55% is very close to 50%. 50% is half. So let's round this down a little bit. 75 kids would be about 50%. So if 75 kids is 50%, then 150 kids is 100%. And that's, that's what they want us to find. What's 100%? So 55 is 55% 55 means 55 out of 100. In this case, the part that equals the 55 is 78 kids. So this is our missing number. Um, so actually, I wrote this backwards. It's the 78 goes on top, the 55 goes on the bottom. See, that's why I don't do it that way. And these proportions are so hard to set up. But 7,800 divided by 55 comes out to be 141.6, which is either about 141 kids or 142 kids. All right, please make sure you get all those answers right. I kept it to nine minutes, not bad. Math six and six, maybe I should change it to math six and nine, or maybe it's math nine and six, I don't know. All right, happy Thanksgiving, everybody.